Charity Bow 85, Chesapeake, Virginia. I'm up here at, uh, what, what's the name? Egg Bistro. Hey, Egg Bistro. I thought it was called something else. That's, that's oh, the name of it. Egg Bistro. Oh, okay, Egg Bistro. <laughs> but I was up here eating my late lunch. As y'all know, I, I, I have a different schedule than most. And I, I had to ask this lady, she was a couple tables over. I asked her to sit down for me for a minute. I heard her talking about a couple different things and I just wanted to interview her. So she's going to introduce herself and I'm going to ask her a couple questions. And uh, I just thought it was very, it was funny, you know, because that's kind of how I feel about going to sports bar. But anyways, I'm, I'm a, I asked her to sit down. How you doing today? What's your name? Good. I'm Lisa Little Booty Washington from okay. Norfolk, Virginia. Okay. Okay. Now I heard you talking when you were over at the table. Right. You say Lisa, right? Yes. Miss Lisa. Now. Were you talking about with your boyfriend or your friends we or whatever? We were talking about mostly relationships because we noticed another couple who were both so into their phones. And I was saying this is the reason why I'm my boyfriend, I don't go to sports bars with my boyfriend because you're not going to be watching baseball on one TV or hockey on one TV and football and whatever have you not. If we at a restaurant together, please pay attention to me. I'm an attention. I need attention. I need attention, uh, so please focus on me. That was the point of us coming out together. And, and, and what, is, what is your take on the cell phones with tables, whether it's young couples, think, old couples, or I whatever? I think the cell phone is going to be the demise of a lot of relationships. If you came out to have dinner together, isn't the point to conversate and have dinner together, not be on your phones uh, together? Like, yeah, the cell phone is going to be the demise of a lot of relationships. Now, I heard you talking a little bit more about your sports. If, if it's just football season, would, I can you, tolerate would, you, football. Major, would you maybe just go that? Or? I'll consider football, but only because I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, so I'm a Steeler fan. Uh, you know, I bleed black and gold. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I'm, a, I'm a win, lose, or tie. I'm a fan till I die. So only for the Steelers do I watch go to but you're not. Bars. But you're not going there to look at golf or baseball. I'm not going, I don't care about golf. I don't care about baseball or hockey. Even though Pittsburgh has all three, we have a professional baseball, football, and hockey team. I just care about football. Because you're not going to have... Uh, your friend or your boyfriend Again, or your you can't be looking at all on the 12 TV. TVs. I oh, need you to oh, focus uh -huh. on me. That's I need it. you to focus That's on it. me. I'm the important right. person here. So. Yeah. And the last question is, uh, what did you have to eat today here at the Egg Bistro? Oh my God, I had the Boss Biscuits and Gravy. Uh -huh. It was so delicious. And we had the multiple mimosas with different flavors. There was the tropical, the apple, the passion fruit, and the strawberry. Okay. They were delicious. And now I see you got your cigarette in your hand. You yes, I'm get, ready. Get your, I'm ready. Get your smoke, get your smoke, smoke I'm on. I'm a true smoker. I got to right. smoke after every meal. But well, thank you, Lisa. You're thank you for welcome. letting me interview you. And, uh, and if you want to look at this, it'll be on on my station charity bowl 85 and i'll write this okay. i'll write it down for absolutely. you one second absolutely this is charity bowl 85 and i had <laughs> a little interview with lisa and i and i like that uh, it just uh, i thought it was uh, very nice for her to sit down here with me and uh, i'm gonna finish up my uh my lunch now chesapeake virginia charity bowl 85 i'm out of here all right whoa charity bowl.